Hi, hello, welcome to Friday. How are you? That's wonderful. That sounded really insincere. <laughs> Sorry, I do care how you are. Um, does anyone else have a teenager in the house who just every now and again shouts random stupid shit from the rooms? And you just sat in your office thinking, oh my God, will he ever shut the fuck up? Because I'm trying to record a video and all I can hear is, you little bitch, you little bitch. And he's driving me insane. He seems to have gone quiet now though. That's not as much of a worry. Oh no, there he is. I don't know if you're picking that up, but... I don't know what he's saying anyway, but the whole going quiet thing isn't much of a isn't as much of a worry at this age as it is when they are toddlers, obviously you don't want them to go quiet like well, you do, but you know that when they are quiet, there's a problem because they've probably smeared pseudocreme all over your t v and all over their face and all over the sofa, or pulled all the wipes out of the packet and started cleaning the cat. Or put your shoes down the toilet, earbuds. These are actual things that Christopher did as a child. Um, moved all of his bedroom furniture into my bedroom because he decided he wanted to switch bedrooms with me. This was when he was about three years old, four years old. But we had laminate flooring across the hall of the the, 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 all over the, upstairs, that's the word I'm looking for, upstairs. It was laminate flooring. And we didn't have the little whatchamacallum things. Oh, there's a big spider there. Hi, spider. Um, we didn't have the, the things on the door, on the door, like on the floor. I don't even know what they're called. But the, the like, you get the metal or the wood. It's like, I don't even know if you heard that, but it's really irritating. Uh, anyway, we didn't have those things in the door, and so he could just slide all of his furniture. Uh, obviously, it wasn't particularly heavy furniture, but he just slid it all down the hallway and into my bedroom, and I woke up and I was like, what the fuck are we doing? And he was like, we switch bedrooms, mummy, and mm, fun, fun times. And now all he does is shout and scream and swear and ask me for money. I don't know which I prefer. I don't know. Anyway, that is irrelevant. The spider has gone. Um, it's really cold today and I'm not happy about that. I was very tempted to put the heat on. But then I remembered it's July and I'm Northern and that is just going against everything I've ever believed. So instead, I'm just gonna deal with it and put a jumper on and stop mourning. Like a good little Northerner. So this week has been a bit shit, which I think I said last week as well, actually. I don't know, I can't remember. I know that some weeks are shit, some weeks good. And then some weeks you get like a mixture. This has been a bit of a mixture actually. So uh, yeah, for me personally, there's been, um, there's been some good news. And in fact, it's been a pretty, pretty much a good news week for me. Unfortunately, there's been some um, not so good news for other people that are in my life and it's not for me to talk about their situation so I'm not going to go into details about what's going on and who they are and things like that but um, yeah it's just just know that it's pretty shit and it has, well at least it has the potential to be pretty shit it's not definitely shit for I don't know there's just it's just, I would prefer for it to not be a thing. And um, yeah, like I say, I'm not gonna go into detail about it because it's not my place 
to go into detail about it. There's just some pretty shit things. Oh my God, Christopher, will you stop screaming? Just pretty shit things that are happening. But on the flip side, there are some pretty awesome things that are happening as well. And that's just life really, isn't it? You're not gonna get, unless you're really, really lucky, you're not gonna get like a, a clean run of life and it's not just gonna be all sunshine and daisies and rainbows and unicorns and all that kind of crap. Sometimes you're gonna get a load of shit and monsters and darkness and crappy fucking want to punch everybody in the face because why the fuck is this happening to me kind of situations. They are going to happen, I'm afraid, but you just have to deal with things as they come and see what happens. Um, it's just been quite an emotional, hormonal, up and down week. And the in fact, the, the good news things that are happening actually to me personally, I can't even talk about them at the moment because I there's nothing, I, I can't release information about it at the moment. And that's just shit because I want to be like, oh my God, guess what? But I can't because it's a secret. Shh. But I will, hopefully next Friday, I'll be able to say something. Um we shall see but it's exciting so that'll be something fun to look forward to yay and also if anybody is interested because i've been um i've been posting on instagram and on my blog um for uh, be about a year now actually um so a year ago around about august last year june august i don't know july sometime last year um i went for my smear test and the results came back with saying that they'd found abnormal cells and so obviously I freaked out. The story's on my blog if you want to read the whole thing. But then, so I had to go for this procedure to have the cells removed and blah, 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 blah. And it was all kind of scary and, you know, shit. And, and then they said that I'd need to have another smear test done to check in six months time. But then the six months went into lockdown and I couldn't have it done. And so then that freaked me out. But then eventually I had my next smear test done like two weeks ago on the 18th of June. And my results came back a couple of days ago saying that it was negative for HPV, human papillomavirus. I can't say, I don't know what it is. I can't say it. Human papilla. Pa I don't know how to say it clearly. Um, so yeah, that came back as negative. So that is good. Woohoo! Yay! Um, but I, be, I posted it on my Instagram as well, anyway. So, but yeah, I've been I've been documenting it across Instagram and my blog because it was scary. I didn't know. I'd never, you know, I'd been for smear tests before. It always come back positive. Uh, not positive. Um, it had always come back clear, it had always come back fine. And then for that to happen, uh, freaked me out. So that's why I wrote about it, to just let other people know that it's, you know, it's scary, but there's help out there and other people are going through the same thing and all that. So that's that. Um, also, the I posted a video earlier this week. Was it earlier this week? Yep, it's Friday at 8. I think it was earlier this week. I don't know. It was at some point in the past. Um, asking for your help towards saving the Mart Theatre and that is still ongoing, still raising funds for that. And so again, I'm going to post the link for that in the description as well. If you could please donate whatever you can. And if you can't, if you're unable at the moment, then please do share the, um, the fundraising link that I'm going to post. And so, yeah, I think that is pretty much all I would like to ramble about today. This is very therapeutic for me. I don't even know if anyone's paying attention to these videos. I've said that a couple of times now and no one's actually commented saying, yeah, hi, I'm, I'm listening. So it could be that no one's watching these videos at all. And I'm just doing this for my 
own sake, which is completely fine, which also sadly means that no one's listening to my fabulous poetry because they're at the end of the video. Maybe I should start putting them at the front of the video, at the front, at the beginning of the video. I don't know, just let me know if you are interacting in any way to what I'm doing or saying here. That is very helpful for me. Thank you. Um, I will be putting obviously another singing video up tomorrow, which this week is going to be a Johnny Mitchell song. And my mum has told me that I'm not allowed to do um, Yellow Taxi. Is that what it's called? Big Yellow Taxi. Late last night, I had screen door slam. Yeah, I'm not allowed to do that one. So I have to choose another song. Um, I think I've chosen one. I need to practice it a few times because it's, you know, it's Johnny Mitchell, so it's a bit, um, ah, don't know what that was. Um, so that'll be up tomorrow. And then there's also another one. It's quite going to be quite a lengthy video, I'm afraid that I'm going to put up tomorrow as well, which is something I've been working on today. It's just a lot of stuff that I've had in my head and I've thought I might write all this down and post it as a blog, but then I just think I need to say the things and that might work better than people just reading it because obviously also it's easier for someone to just sit and listen to a video than it is um, to read a blog. My mind just went blank then. I didn't I was looking at how long I've been how long the video was, sorry. Um yeah. So that is that is that is that is that is the stuff. This first one is called I Can't Breathe. I've never felt such conflicting emotions before. My head and heart hauled in different directions. Your sheer brilliance shocks me to my core. Your ignorance of my existence destroys my unreturned affections. Your presence unnerves me. Your hurtful demeanour kills me. Your eyes stop me dead. I can't move. I can't breathe. Just for a second, I believe that you notice me. The moment is lost. How much more obvious does she need to be? What needs to be said to make you see? How many times does she have to convey how you amaze her with the words you say? It's a painful restraint, the control she must keep. When she looks into your eyes, she wants to fall so deep. With caution she treads, her heart so pure. The unrelenting desire she's never felt before. And the second one today is called Celestial Temptation. I've walked your pathways once or twice, but only in my dreams. For now, I know this will suffice until I cross your seams. Your vastness calls, it's beckoning. It's tranquil there, I see. My mind and heart are reckoning. My soul will be set free. I've sensed your presence many times, a yearning that is shared. Our passion builds so high it climbs. No longer am I scared. A fear that was quite fragile, so easily suppressed. My feelings now are agile. I've come to take the test. My mortality has been set free, vacated to be tranquil. Eternity is ours to see, a lifetime to be thankful. Um, so yes, that was Celestial Temptation and I Can't Breathe from My Twisted Turmoil and Chaotic Calm, which is available on Amazon if you wish to buy it. Um, so that is Friday. Out oh, Friday's fun when you get to listen to me talk about shit and read poetry to you. I think it might be your new favourite day. So like I said, please let me know if you're actually um, listening to this at all. That would be very helpful for me. And if you are, thank you very much. Please share this because clearly the world needs to listen to all of my bullshit. Okay, thank you. I love you. Bye.